Only square matrices can have inverses, but not every square matrix has an inverse. Let's give an example of a square matrix with no inverse. One, 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 one. This matrix has no inverse. How do I know that? Well, suppose by way of contradiction that this matrix does have an inverse. There's a matrix we can multiply this by that gives us the identity matrix as the product. But let's do this multiplication. First row, first column, A plus C. Second row, first column, also A plus C. And B plus D for these entries. Well, how could this equal the identity matrix? In particular, A plus C. For this to be the identity matrix, A plus C has to be one, but also for this to be the identity matrix, a plus C has to be zero. There's no possible matrix we can put here that is going to make this multiplication true. So this matrix really doesn't have an inverse. Definition. A matrix with an inverse is called non singular. A matrix without an inverse is called singular. What's with those names? That's, uh, let's end this video with that question. Well, we'll make the observation that most matrices have inverses. 
we're not going to quantify exactly what we mean by most, but that's why we have these names. A singular event is a very rare event. So it's very rare for a matrix to not have an inverse, hence singular and non-singular. Maybe we can flesh out this observation a little by putting a form to the onto the document camera. You don't have to memorize this. But here's a formula for the inverse of a two by two matrix. Why would a two by two matrix not have an inverse? Well, you see this division. There's no inverse. If this thing we're dividing by happens to equal zero. Well, Imagine generating an inverse at random. This could be any real number. It's vanishingly unlikely that if you create a matrix at random, this subtraction is going to be zero. Hence this observation. Now, having said that, in the real world, we don't work with randomly generated matrices. The matrices we work with come from somewhere. And we do sometimes see singular matrices in action applications. So even though they're rare in a sense, they're not so rare that we can just ignore them and not to worry about this.